Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Sarah Says. So this is my first official video after my intro video. I hope you like it. I'm responding to Kelly Sweetie, who I'm guessing was a Magnusite fan, and subscribed to me from there. So thank you, Kelly, for writing in. Um, she sent this about, I don't know, two weeks ago, and it says, Hey Sarah, I love you, just want to start off with that. You and your honest, you and your honey are great together. With that said, I was looking at another YouTube channel and came across this topic that was done by a black woman about why white women date black men. Now, being a white woman myself who dates black men, I felt everything she said was completely off and nowhere near the truth. I will attach you the link here and you can listen to it if you want to comment on it or if Tyrone would like to, but it's more angled at you. Thought this would be a great topic for a discussion with you. Can't to see... Can't wait to see more from you and keep it up with the awesomeness. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate the support. Um, unfortunately, the link that you attached got taken down for um, copyright infringement. I don't know what she had going on there, but I wasn't able to see it. So I'm sure that she was probably ranting and raving about white women stealing all the black men, <laughs> which is totally not true because there's lots of them out there. Um, but I didn't get to see it. So here's what I thought I would do. I thought I would give my reasons for why I date black guys. Um, it's from my life experience. Um, so, you know, I, I'm sure not every white girl is going to agree with the reasons that I put down, but these are the reasons that I can think of. And then I'm going to give a few reasons why I think other white women might date black men. Um, and then I came across, I don't know how many of you may follow Tommy Soda, Moya, Tommy Soda Mayor, but he does a lot of um, commentary on black people and black women, and there's a lot of people that hate him, but uh, Tyrone actually likes to listen to him. He comes up with a lot of good points. He doesn't agree with everything Tommy says, but um, you know some of the things he says Tyrone does agree with. So I have listened to several of Tommy Soda Mayor's videos, and uh, I find them interesting. Um, so he has up uh, two videos. Uh, 18 reasons why, um, I guess, white women date black men or something like that. So he can be kind of controversial, and I thought that I would respond to that after I make my own video of why I date black guys. So I have a little notepad here because I tend to ramble, and I want to make sure that I don't forget everything. So if you see me looking down, that's, that's what I'm looking at. Um, okay, so first off, style. A lot of black men, not all black men, but a lot of black men dress well. Um, they tend to take a lot of pride in their appearance. Um, there's various reasons for this. Um, personally, I think it's probably because um, they're already at a social, social disadvantage um, to white men. So they feel the need to present themselves well because they get talked about in the first place. So, um, you know, I think that's maybe one of the reasons why. But anyway, regardless of why they do it, a lot of them do. Um, and I find that attractive. There's nothing wrong with wearing a t-shirt and cargo shorts and flip-flops. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but when I see T Tyrone, for instance, in a nice, tight-fitted t-shirt, his muscles are showing, he's got nice-fitted jeans on, they're not too tight, they're not too baggy, um, you know, a pair of sneaks or a pair of shoes or whatever, you might have a, his bracelet on and, you know, his hair's done. It's attractive um, to me. So next is smell. I love a man that smells good. And black men, and I notice Hispanic men too, tend to almost always wear cologne. And to me, that's really sexy. Um, there's a lot of white guys that wear cologne. I'm not saying that white guys don't. Um, but I would say 99% of the time, black men have a really nice smelling cologne on, which is attractive. Um, confidence. So... I've noticed that black men approach me way more than white guys. Now, it could be because of my ample bottom, as Tyrone would say. Um, they tend to like that, so they approach me over it. But um, despite that, there's plenty of white guys that like a big ass. So what's the difference between uh, a white guy approaching me and a black guy approaching me? I don't know. It just seems like the black guys have confidence and, you know, they... <laughs> whether they're they could be the scrubbiest dog <laughs> and they'll still be like hey ma what's up um you know they have that confidence and even if they're gonna get shot down they're still willing to at least approach me which i admire um you know so um confidence would be you know, one comfortability so this is one that's really specific to me this 
it's what I know. I grew up in a black community, so this is what I'm used to. I'm sure if I grew up in a white community, I would be used to dating white guys. Um, it's kind of curious, Tyrone has asked me before, do you think that she would just be dating white guys? I don't know, I don't know. I might be one of those like uh, bougie white women that's like curious about the black guy and um, you know wants to date him but's afraid to maybe, I don't know. Um, but this, I grew up in a black community, so I'm very comfortable around black people and it's just what I got used to. It's what I started dating. Um, let's see. Most black men, not all black men, but most black men can dance. There's just some sort of innate rhythm <laughs> that they have. I find it really sexy when a man can dance and has rhythm. Um, I love to go out to the club and dance, and it tends to be the black eyes that um, I dance with. And, and again, these are just uh, generalizations. Yes, there's white guys that have rhythm. Yes, there's white guys that can dance. I'm just speaking as to why I date black men. Sex. Okay, so this is a big one. Um, again, I'm sure there's plenty of white guys that can lay it down. But I have noticed that black men pride themselves on pleasing their woman. They lay it down. And I think it has to do with, all right, well, if I'm going to be looked at lower on the social chain, I'm at a disadvantage already. The one thing that people can definitely say about me, I'm never going to have a woman walk away from me and say that I didn't please her or lay it down. Um, I've only been with a couple that really weren't that good. <laughs> um, I've only been with one that was a very selfish lover, but he was actually still pretty, pretty good what he did I mean in comparison to what I guess it could be but anyway re regardless of that I, I think that it's a pride thing and uh, you know that they're they're used to putting it down and they're also um, willing to do cunnilingus um, I know there's white guys that do it too but it seems like black guys really like it <laughs> for some reason so um, all right moving on I'm starting to blush all right um, they're built I think, and I wonder, I think Tyrone might actually agree with me on this, but I think genetically they are more muscular, more athletic, um, and I think it goes back to, unfortunately, during slavery days when the strongest male slave was bred with the strongest female slave. And that happened over and over and over again. And if you're looking at survival of the fittest and, and genetics and biology, it would just make sense that as it went down the line, it would, you know, they're going to be stronger and more muscular and more well-built. There's plenty of white guys that are strong and muscular and well-built. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I think the majority of black guys have a strong muscular uh, build, at least when they're younger. <laughs> Most guys get a pot belly when they're older, but... Um, they tend to have really nice asses, and I'm an ass girl. I love a nice, round, muscular ass, and uh, Tyrone is the champion of that. Sorry, Magnesites, I'm sure you didn't want to hear that, but um, yeah. Full lips, I love their full lips. Not every black guy has full lips, of course, but you know, a lot of them tend to. Um, what else? Okay, next would be, they're not racist. Uh, so that might sound kind of funny because they're black, right? Um, in my experience, uh, I have known white guys to be a little too comfortable around me. And again, because I was raised in a black community, I am not cool with certain jokes, certain uh, racist, off-colored remarks. And I can remember times where I've been in a group of white people and I might have thought a white guy was cute or considered dating him and he opened his mouth and he said something that I was like, mm, sorry, can't deal with that. Because it, it reflects an overall general attitude towards people and humanity that I'm not willing to deal with. So when you date a black guy, you can almost guarantee he's not racist. <laughs> if he's willing to date you, he probably doesn't hate white people or at least not to the, to the degree that um, white people <laughs> would call black people by names. So... Um, moving on, 
would be skin contrast. This is another personal thing. I like the contrast of brown skin next to white skin. I think it's pretty. I think it's beautiful. Um, you know, have I dated white guys? Yes. No problem. <laughs> but, uh, you know, our arms kind of tend to get lost when they're next to each other. I just, I think the contrast is pretty. So that's just me. Um, swag. So this is different, I think, from confidence. It envelops confidence, but it's a few other things. So swag is like the walk, the talk, the style. It's, it's an encompassing idea. Um, it's just the way they, the way they walk, the smooth, cool, you know, um, I'm sure there's plenty of white guys that are smooth and cool, but I, I think the majority of black guys that I run into have a certain edge to them. Um, so, and then the last one for me personally would be that they tend to have a lot less hair. <laughs> I don't really care for a hairy guy. Some women really like that. They like a nice bare chest, um, bare as in like, our uh, grizzly bear <laughs> chest. Um, I don't like that. It's not my thing. I dated an Italian guy once. We went to the beach. He asked me to put suntan lotion on him. And by the time I was done putting the sunscreen on his back, my hand was covered in hair. It was pretty gross. So <laughs> black guys, I don't know. It just seems like they tend to have a lot less hair. And if they do have hair, it's really short and curly and you don't have to worry about it too much. So that's all of my personal reasons. The next set of reasons are things that I think maybe other white girls might uh, have in mind when they're when they're dating black guys. Um, in the 90s, I don't know if they still use this term, but we call them wiggers. Um, so this is the white girl that acts really um, extra and um, for lack of a better term, I guess ghetto, she acts ghetto. Um, or white trash, she acts, but, um, I think for them, it's a way to be accepted into black events and places. So let's say there's, a, a black concert or a black party and she's not, um, necessarily confident to go by herself. I think dating a black guy is kind of her ticket in, um, that's just an observation, um, I think. Could be wrong, could be wrong about it, but I just kind of feel like it's it's a way for them to, their meal ticket in. Um, not that they wouldn't date the black guy in the first place, but I think it's kind of an added bonus for her um, if she's looking to fit in with uh, black people because she sees herself more as black. Um, trying to fit in with something they aren't. Trying to be cool. Um, throughout history, white people have stolen things from black people to be cool. Like Elvis Presley, his style of music came from black gospel music. Um, we've stolen black slang and vernacular, and that's why it changes up so fast, I think, because once, <laughs> once a black person realizes that white people are using the words, they, they're like, okay, it's no longer cool, or we're going to switch to something else. So I think... For some reason, white people are desperately trying to be black, even though they're trying to suppress black people. I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny. But um, I think <laughs> if you're trying to be cool and uh, you see that culture is cool, then maybe, um, you know, dating a black guy is your way to be seen as, as cool. I don't know. but um, And I think the last thing and what all of you are probably wondering about is the size of his member, the dick myth. Um, Tyrone and I have talked about this in a video before. It's not true. Not all black guys are hung. Um, there may be some that are on average an inch, an inch bigger. It's, it's really pretty, pretty much the same. So I think though that some white women might continue to date black guys because they think that it's a guarantee that he's going to have a big dick. So if they're really concerned about dating a guy with a big dick, um, <laughs> they might be like, oh, well, I'm just going to date black guys because that way I can weed out the rest. But it's um, it's more of a myth than anything. Uh, it's not true. I have dated black guys that aren't big. So, um, But that is all I can think of for now. I'm sure there's other reasons that other women have, but those are the ones that I thought of. So... I hope you found it enlightening. Please don't think that I'm like, oh, I only date black guys. No, I've dated 
um, Hispanics. I've dated white guys, so it's it's not that I will only date black guys. These are just the reasons that I do. Um, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.